Hello students, my name is Bongane Ndlozi. I am a lecturer for computer practice N5 and uh, today's lessons basically we will be looking at uh, how do we use files and folders basically in terms of uh, our computer practice as a subject and then we will be taking you through this section basically with the assistance of looking at what are the previously asked questions through this particular section. So we will go through this section using a previous question paper. It doesn't matter which previous question paper you are using. Sometimes basically the principle of how you work with this particular section always remains the same. So the section that we will be looking at today basically that is uh, basically working with files and folders and basically most of the time that questions get asked sometimes a lot in your exam question papers and then usually it comprises of uh, 30 marks so we said that today we needed to look at this particular section so usually the section basically it will start by you have to do the following questions or you have to do the following questions on your computer then it will start by indicating that you have to open up a Word document. On your Word document, on either your heading or your footer, you have to insert your examination number and the question number. In this case, it says insert your examination number on your left and your question number on your right as a header. Please, we need to be careful of this because at times it might not be a header, but it might be a footer. So examination number on the left and the question number on your right. So you open up a Word document. On your Word document, you'll go to insert, you go to header. You will choose your three column base header where they said basically on our left, we needed to type in an examination number, an examination number. Now, your examination number at times, it can be a different number from what you have as a, your ID or sometimes more than usually it becomes your ID number. Then we needed to type in a question number on our right hand side. So question number. But you will notice that I am not typing my examination number because at this stage I don't have one. But for for for. For the sake of not confusing you, let's move ahead and insert uh, my, my, we will just assume that is my examination number. And the question number basically of that particular paper, it is question three. So we have inserted this on our header. Now let's look at the next question. Now it says, now you have to make a printout and put the printout in your examination folder. Only one printout per question may be handed in. So what this means is basically, you don't create a printout for each and every single instruction that you have been given, but you wait up until you reach a stage in your sequence of numbers where they give you a direct instruction to say, now you can make a printout after you have performed the above instructions. So now, if you look at this particular structure, basically, so already by the mere effect that you are given this, it means already this particular structure, it's already been created for you. So it is existing. Where it is existing, it is existing in an A drive, but a drive is an old technology of which that was you when we were using floppy diskettes or we were using uh, diskettes basically, but of which that technology doesn't exist anymore. So usually you will find it either on your desktop or you will find it either on your C drive or you will find it on my documents. So this particular drive, it might, your A basically, it might mean any drive basically according to the instructions that your lecturer will give you. So in this case, it is an A drive. And let's just go through this particular uh, layout structure as it is. Basically, how do you interpret it? So it means everything that is attached to this. It means immediately when you open up this drive, these are the content that you will see. Your folders, they will always be inserted inside your rectangular boxes. So it means grain is a folder 
and then your files they will be just written outside basically any rectangular boxes basically so this is what it tells you these are these are your files then you have another folder another folder by the name of mit and then inside that particular folder you will have files that is calcal wool and buck now remember this particular structure is already created for you so you don't need to be creating it from scratch now let us jump straight to it and try to move on with the first question now if we look at the first question the first question says create the folder fiber you will notice that they didn't say where if they didn't specify where it means fiber as a folder it will have to come inside your A drive. It means it is one of the main folders. So if you were to go to our structure, you will see basically this is the A drive that I've created with the folder grain and meat. So now what the questions ask us to do, basically they are asking us to create a folder with the name fiber. So for this, basically what we do is you can right click, go to uh, new then go to select folder then the name of the folder they said it should be fiber then we have created our folder fiber now the second instructions the second instruction tells us that we need to move the file wool from the folder meat to the folder fiber so the file wool it's it's found under meat then we need to move it to the newly created folder of which it's fiber so we need it to open up meat right click and then we select because they've asked us to move it this time around so we're not going to copy copy and cut cut it means we are moving it from where it was and we are displacing it to somewhere else if if it is moved, it means the original location where it was found, it will no longer be found there anymore. So it means we are totally relocating that particular file. If we were to copy it, it means we are going to have the original file in the original location and you are going to have an additional copy on the new location that they have specified. So in this case, we select cut. You'll notice our file is just indicated by a faded color it means it's now ready to be moved so where are we moving it we are moving it to a new folder that is called fiber so we will right click or we will double click fiber we right click then we select paste now we have moved the file wool now the next instruction tells us that we need to copy now we are no longer moving we need to copy the file that is named cotton there it is it's find in the folder grain we need to move this file from the grain folder into a, a fiber folder so we need to go to grain then we need to right click then we need to say copy then we need to go to fiber right click and paste now notice we have the file cotton inside the fiber folder if you were to go back to to grain we still have the original file of which it's now it's also called cotton so that is the difference between copy and your cut or moving a folder now the following instructions it tells us basically that we now need to create a subfolder flex inside the fiber folder now what is a subfolder a subfolder it's nothing else but it is a folder within another folder so we need to go to the folder fiber and then from here we need to right click we go to new and then we see we select new folder then the name of the folder it needs to be flex so we name this particular folder flex so that was easy 
Now they are asking us, we need to sort the contents of the fiber folder according to the name of the files in the descending order. So it means we need to open up the folder fiber. There, if you go to your tabs on top, you have your file tab, your home tab, your share tab, and then underneath your view tab, you will see that you have there you have the sort function. Then they need they said we needed to sort this in a descending order. So in a descending order, it means from letter Z all the way to A, Z will be on top, or and then in that order all the way to letter A. So that is why we have wool cotton and then we have flex. Now they are asking us display the contents of the folder fiber by display it means basically you need to ensure that right at the address bar of your locations basically fiber it is the one that is the last basically in your naming in your location direction on top of that there is the content basically of the fiber folder then they ask us basically once we this is displayed then they ask us to make a print screen of this particular commands it means the commands they are referring to it's everything that we have done here on top from 3.11 all the way to 3.1.6 so we need to make a print screen of this how do you make a print screen this is displayed then on your desktop or on your keyboard you will see a button that is written a print screen you click it once then from there you go to the word document where they've asked you to insert your header as your exam number your question number now this is where you need to come and paste it on then from there you can adjust basically your 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 image just to fit basically your to fit to fit within basically your, your your document so that it becomes nicely visible so once this is done then they are going to ask you to print this so you need to print out a, because I don't I'm not connected to a printer but I'm, I'm sure as you well aware you know how to print so you print this one out then we continue with the rest of the questions now the same folder that we've been working with again now they've asked us to go to rename the file kettle in the mid folder to mutton so it means within the mid folder we need to find the kettle and then rename it to mutton so we needed to go to mid we needed to find the kettle file and then we needed to rename this to Martin so that is how you will rename a file from one word to another then they are asking us to create a publisher file poetry in a meet folder now inside the meet folder they are asking us to create another file of which this file it shouldn't just be any file but it should be a file that goes with the file document a publisher document so there we have our publisher document then the name of this particular file it should be poetry right click rename and then it should be poetry then we have name our publisher file into poetry then the next instruction tells us that we need to move the file pop from the grain folder into or to the meat folder now it means we need to go to the grain folder grain folder take the file take the file they said we needed to move the file so we're not copying we're not creating a duplication but we are moving it so we right click then we will select cut then we are going to move this particular file into meet we right click and then we paste 
So now in our meet folder, we have four files now that are existing in there. Now, if the next instruction tells us that we needed to delete the file back from meet folder, now we need to go to our meet folder, then find the, the file back, right click, and then in this case, we will delete this particular file because that's what the instruction is telling us to do. Then they say display the content of the meet folder and make a print screen of these commands. The commands have already been executed. We have our meet folder and then this is what it's contained basically within our meet folder. Then from there, they ask us to make a print screen. Again, on our keyboard, we press print screen. Then we go and open up our MS Word document our MS Word document. Now we're making a new print screen. Again, we can resize this so that it becomes visible. Then from there, we can go file. We, then we can go print. So you select the printer that is connected to your device. Then you make a print out of this. Then you put it into your folder. Then we move on with our set of instructions. Now, we are now on 3.3. We'll start with 3.3.1. Now 3.3.1 says create a text file which inside the grain folder. Now inside the grain folder, now we need it to go to the grain folder. Now they have asked us basically to create now, not just any file, they were specific that it needs to be a text file. So we needed to be careful when they have specified what type of a file it needs to be. So the file in this case will be named with, but it's not just any file. It needs to be a text file. There we have our text document. We will select this one. Then it needs to be with. So we have created the name of the file, text file in specifically by the name which. Now the next instruction says, make a copy of the maze, of the file maze in the grain folder. Now grain folder, now notice they just said, make a copy of the file maze in the grain folder. So it means, it means, it means basically uh, this uh, this particular file maze in here the grain because they didn't say copy it to any location they just said make a copy it means you will right click then you will select copy in the very same location you are going to right click and then you are going to select paste then you have now two files in the same folder one it's going to be the original file that will be missed and then the one that will be written and with the extension copy it means it's just a duplication of the original file then they will say display the contents of the grain folder that is currently where we are at the moment then they will ask us basically make a print screen of these commands that we have executed above so it means from here the print screen again we go to our keyboard we press the print screen button we go to our Word document, and then basically we do the same as we did with our initial question. We right click and then we paste. Then we can resize this for visibility purposes before we can actually create a print for our document so that we can insert it in our folder, our exam folder. Now, this is done basically then the last instruction says display the disk space of the hard drive of your computer and make a print screen of this command so they are giving us an additional task to say go to your computer sometimes on your file file explorer you will have my computer you'll have computer you'll have this pc so sometimes the naming conventions differs from computer to computer once you have located this you have too many drives, but the one that is sometimes they are always referring to by default, it's your C drive. So you right click, then you go to properties. 
then you are going to have a window that will be displaying what is the size allocation of your hard drive basically so it will tell you what is your used space what is your free space then the capacity basically in a in a graphical format so once this is display again what you do is you press your print screen button on your keyboard then again you are going to go to your word document where you will be pasting this now remember as i am busy removing and pasting basically but in your case please remember you are not allowed to be uh, deleting stuff and moving so remember you would have had if we go back to the question paper you would have had three point this is 3.4 3.3 and then you have 3.2 then you have 3.1 so it means your first printout basically would have been here 3.1 3.1 then you saved this then again you go again you open up a new document or you just edit this you then you say file save as then the next question would have been 3.3 3.2 and then 3.4 so in this case we are on 3. Point, uh, i think this our last question is 3.4 so from there, you just make a printout basically of the question that says basically you need to display the disk space of your hard drive of your computer. And then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that sums up basically our focus or, or our coverage around files and folders and how do you manipulate files and folders on your computer i hope you've enjoyed the session please join us for the next upcoming sessions basically we will be covering more on not only just on computer practice and five but sometimes computer practice and four and and six thank you please do enjoy the rest of the day